Hello everyone. Now, in this lecture, what I will basically explain you how we can install Windows 7 in your VMware workstation. I'm using here VMware workstation 12 Pro, but same procedure is applied into the adult platform as well. So for that, you have to download the Windows 7 iOS image from the Microsoft website. Okay, now, so I have already downloaded it. Now I will go through with the procedure how we can install it. You can go to into create a new virtual machine. Go with the typical. Next, I will install the operating system later. Next, select here Microsoft Windows and you can select a Windows 7 here. Or go with Windows 7. 64 because I'm using 64 bit iOS. I'll give the name here. Test PC Windows 7. This is my Windows 7 test machine. Next store as a single file next finish now here we will do the customization so i will go with the 2 gb ram if you want you can also go with 1 gb ram because windows 7 will work with 1 gb as well processor is one hard disk is 60 gb use ios and just browse that ios so you can go to into desktop in desktop basically this is the windows 64 iso i am having here i will select it now i will basically put this machine this windows into my inside network so i will go with here vm net one click on ok and power on this machine i will finish it now windows is loading the files we will wait here for some time so process is already going on so we will wait windows 7 installation is very easy so guys i'm just covering all all these things i'm just recording them as well so you can refer later yep so same thing it is asking to select the language then time and currency keyboard click on next i don't want to change anything install now generally installation of all these ios files is very very straightforward actually you don't need to think much accept the term and conditions you know you can read it but we don't have have it to read next custom next now installation is going on After that, I will also cover the installation of your Windows 10 guys in the next part. Meanwhile, this process going on, let me go through. So this is my website guys, cnets.com. If you want, if you have any queries, you can basically contact us on below mention numbers. So this is, this number belongs to me. So you can directly contact me. 
this is our application so we do have a web application or android application which we can install in ios as well these so these are the details okay the where i am having palo alto advanced tech troubleshooting codes as well and we have like f5 dns f5 asm course ltm course palo alto pc nc training ccn and ipsec vpn so this is the palo alto advanced tech level troubleshooting code this this is the first time which is this is the course which is launched by us only actually it's a more than 70 plus hours of training the, this is my youtube channel this is our another youtube channel if you want to check our details you can basically check our details here as well okay go back so it's still that process is going on so if you if i'll go inside this course palo alto advanced tech level troubleshooting course let me explain you some more details about it go into content and you will get these are the trend these are the basically videos we are having and i'm also uploading the notes like life of a packet then life of a session then hardware architecture right everything we have covered in details all the troubleshooting has been covered like for if you will see for ipsec bpn i have taken around 10 classes more than 20 hours of training for ipsec in this more than 20 plus hours of global protect along with your octa shamal integration so you will see shamal part one two three where i have used octa user id training then i have used here kerberos kerberos sso on gp clientless vpn right captive port url filtering all the feature is covered in like management plane troubleshooting data plane troubleshooting everything covered in detail guys in depth okay go back it's 92 percent 93 so we have to wait for some time i will not pause the recording actually let's i want to so i will you will get the details here so i want to see you or i want to show you that detail actually how this process is happening hundred percent is copied installing the updates this starting in nine minutes let me just nine seconds ten seconds right we start now so this start will happen now and we are done with the windows configuration actually it's very easy guys you don't need to think much about it An installation process is straightforward actually So you will see here, all these process has been completed, completing the installation now, right? So we will wait for some more time. Now this window we will use as a test PC or test machine in your in our inside network, right? Completing the installation. 
it's going on. So we will wait here. Let me just guys pause for a minute. Otherwise, yeah, setup will continue after restarting your computer now. So it is just restarting this machine. It will not restart your main PC guys. It just restart this particular Windows 7 one. Now, what you can do, you can just type the username. So username is Hemo. So this is the PC. Next, type the password. Password is admin at one, two, three. I will always configure this password on my inside machines. Next. So the product looks like similar to this. So I don't have product key. Use recommended setting or ask me later. I will change the time here. So I will go with the Indian as per the Indian standard time. So I will go with Chennai, Kolkata, Mumbai as I'm in India. Next. Home network. Windows is finalizing your settings, so we will wait. And here we have installed Windows 7 Ultimate. Welcome to Windows 7, yes. It is just preparing our desktop. And we get the login page, right? Now on this, what you can do, you can install 
at least Chrome browser or Firefox browser, and you can use this particular Windows machine for your as a test PC and your inside network. That's it, guys, for this particular lecture.